KMBC TV, KMBC DT, Kansas City. Thanks, Kansas City, for making us number one. This is KMBC 9 News. Coverage you can come on. People from all over the country are showing support for a local family believed to be the victims of a hate crime. KMBC 9's Bev Chapman has the story from Missouri City. They're calling it a high noon showdown with midnight hate, a bike ride and a rally this weekend, and a letter writing campaign to show support. May your lives be blessed with kindness, respect, and love. They are coming in from all over the country, Texas, Milwaukee, Illinois, letters addressed to the loved family, a family that last week reportedly experienced hate. Next time I'll kill you, I'll kill your wife, I'll kill your children, I'll kill your girl. Sylvia McFall was born in Ghana, but for the last eight years has lived in Missouri City. She and her husband have two young children. Last week, police arrested her neighbor, 52-year-old Michael W. Perry, for allegedly coming to their home at midnight, yelling threats and racial slurs. This is not only a, an assault on that family, but an assault on all of us. Ed Chastine of Liberty heads an organization called Hate Busters. This letter campaign was his idea. Hang in there and keep He sent emails to all his contacts. And this is the result. We don't know each other, but I'm sending you some love. George Perkins from Madison, Wisconsin. They feel lonely right now. People feel nobody cares and nobody, nobody notices. And when, they, when people have been hurt like they have, they need somebody to stand up for them and with them. Ed will not only be standing up, he'll be riding his bike from Liberty to Missouri City to draw attention to the situation. He's inviting people from all over the metro to join him for the ride and a rally afterwards. Somebody has to say, we don't like this. We won't stand for this. Back in Missouri City now, the ride from Liberty starts at 1030. For details, log on to our website. Bev Chapman, KMBC 9 News, back to you. And again, if you are interested in sending a letter to the family, you can find that information on our website as well. Michael Perry remains in the Clay County Jail now on $20,000 bond. His next court appearance is Wednesday, September 23rd. Larry.